Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to bring you guys another FIFA 17 score builder. If you guys didn't see the last one, which I did, which I think was yesterday, I did a cheap start squad. I make these on Photoshop using the confirmed player ratings and also a couple of predictions for these players. However, it doesn't really matter on the exact ratings of these players because you guys can still go out and pick up these players. And let's say, for example, one of the players who I think is going to be a gold player turns out to be a silver player or maybe turns out to be a rare player so it's slightly more expensive. I've got a whole load of different players you can use in different positions at the end of the video that I'll show you just in case there are any issues with this. But uh, yeah, it's a really good team and it is in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation and it's a BPL starter squad. Uh, a lot of you guys did comment down below on the previous video that you wanted to see a cheap BPL starter team. And again, comment down below what type of teams you want to see next, so what type of budget, maybe you want to see a non-rare team, the best possible team, something like that. Comment that down below and if we could smash 50 likes on the video, that would be insane. You guys smashed over 50 likes in literally just a couple of hours on the last video, so thank you guys so much for that really does mean a lot because I put a lot of effort into these videos. So without further ado, let's go on into the squad builder. So as you can see, the formation I'm using is the 4 one 2 one 2 It's a formation which is always good on FIFA. A lot of people do use it, and it's a great formation. And in goal, I've decided to go with Ben Foster. Had a good start to the season with West Brom and should be a cheap keeper for under about 1,000 coins. Moving into the defence, we have got Olsen in the left back position. A very pacey player. Uh, a good player on FIFA 16. Should be a good player on FIFA 17 as well. However, there are a couple of other players you could use, for example, Neil Taylor, maybe someone like Ben Davies, anyone like that. In the next centre-back position, we've got Cabasele, a very, very solid defender, and a defender who had a team of the season, actually, this year, and had a lot of pace. I think he had, like, 83 pace on that, so he could easily have, like, 80 pace plus on this card. Could make it a bit expensive if it is a rare card. It may be a bit too expensive, but you can always replace him with someone like Denea. Then we have Funes Mori, a uh, solid defender. He's got good pace, good physical, and good defending. Next to Cabasele in the defence. And finally, we do have Jajede in the right-back position, the Watford right-back. Very pacey player. Got good physical as well. He's going to be similar to someone like Miom uh, on FIFA 16. Looks like a decent card and should be a good player in the team. And moving into the midfield, we've got Wanyama in the CDM position. Now, physicality and strength is a very key stat on FIFA 17 due to the new kind of physical play overhaul. So Wanyama, a player with very good physical. I mean, you guys can see on screen right there. Look how strong he is. Very, very strong player. And it's going to be a great defensive midfielder because he's tall, he's got good work rates, and he's just going to push everyone off the ball. In the left mid position, we've got Bakary Sacco, a very pacey player. Likely to have four-star skill moves as well and good dribbling. Going to be a good kind of sweaty player to cross the ball into the box uh, because you can uh, head the ball now with a couple of different options like the downwards headers. So headers are more effective. So Sacco is going to be a good kind of pacey player to just go the wing. Then we've got Dyer in the right mid position. Again, a very pacey player, around 90 pace. Very, very good agility and balance stats, near to someone like Messi. Some of the highest agility and balance stats on the whole game. He is a great player on FIFA 16 and should be a good player on FIFA 17 as well. In the camp position, we've got Lanzini. A very good player again on FIFA 16. A good cheap player. And on FIFA 17, he's probably going to have a slight upgrade because he had a really good season last season for West Ham. And he did also play for Argentina, I believe, in the uh, Olympics. But uh, yeah, going to be a decent card. Four-star skill moves, good pace, good dribbling. And uh, should also have pretty good free kicks and long shots as well. Now, moving into the strike force of this team, we've got an absolute beast in Wilfred Bonny. I mean, you guys can see his card on screen right there. Look at that physical stat. 85 physical, 82 shooting as well. He's one of the strongest players on the game. I think he's the fourth strongest player on Ultimate Team. Uh, so that is a very, very good stat right there. Very strong play. He's going to just push defenders off the ball. Uh, he's going to be a really good finisher in the penalty area as well. And he's going to be winning headers. Great player to hold the ball up. And next to him, what I really do like using on FIFA 16 and should also work on FIFA 17, he's a strong player. Next to a much kind of quicker player who's good at dribbling. And uh, we have got Enna Valencia as that quick player. Great dribbling, great pace, and a pretty good shooting as well. Going to be a decent player. Transferred to Everton as well. Looks like a tidy card there. Going to be a decent player to play next to Bonnie. So moving into the potential replacements for the players in this team, we've got Fellaini as a new CDM instead of Wanyama. Very similar player, a bit slower but a bit stronger as well. Very, very strong player. Going to be a solid CDM. Then we've got Welbeck. Now he's strong, he's good in the air, and he's quick. He will probably be like 5k though, because he does play for Arsenal. But if he is a non-rare card, could be a bit cheaper and going to be a decent player for you guys to use in your start team. Then we've got Abel Hernandez, very pacey player. Going to have over 90 pace, and he's probably going to be a low-rated gold player playing for Hull. And because he does play for one of the worst teams in the Premier League, he's not going to be too expensive because it's quite hard to link him to other players. Also, there aren't many Uruguayan players who do play 
in the Premier League. So he's going to be a quite hard player to link up, except if you do build a, B a BPL team, which is what we are doing obviously right here. So should be quite cheap and going to be quite good for that as well. And moving into the slightly cheaper non route options, we've got Nathan Redmond as a different right mid instead of Dyer. If Dyer's a bit more expensive due to his pace. Uh, Redmond going to have a decent card. You could also maybe use someone like Antonio. Uh, however, he is going to have a rare card, so he is going to be relatively more expensive. However, Antonio looks like an absolute beast. If you haven't seen Spencer FC's video on him, go and check it out because uh, it does reveal his stats. He's got some amazing stats. Then we have Cessignon, probably going to have a non-rare card because he didn't have the best of seasons last year. But four Saskia moves, decent free kicks, and good dribbling as well. Going to be a good cam. Then we've got Cook. Uh, had a really good season, actually got a team of the season card last year. Going to probably have a low-rated non rare centre-back card. You could also use someone like Denea, uh, maybe someone like John Stones. There are a lot of different options at centre-back, but I decided to go with Cabasel and Funes Mori in my main team with Cook as an option on the bench. And the final option is going to be Johnny Evans. Uh, again, a similar player to someone like Cook. He's got decent pace, around 70 pace, and decent physical and defending as well. So those are the different options you could use if you didn't want to use some of the players in the main team. Let's say, for example, Cabasele is a rare player. He might be about 5k, so you could replace him for someone like Johnny Evans. But yeah, it looks like a decent team. It's definitely going to be a solid stars team for you guys to use. If you do like BPL teams and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend it. So hope you guys have enjoyed. It's actually halftime right now in the Manchester Derby. City are winning 2-1 right now, so I'm going to get back and watch that game. Edit this after that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. As I said, comment down below what videos you want to see next, especially when it comes to the budgets of these teams. Maybe you want a non-rare team or something like that. As I said in the intro. Also, if we could drop 50 likes on the video, that would be insane because I put a lot of effort into this video. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.